Hello guys, Phil here at Horton's Hot Rod Shop. Give a little update on the Ranchero build. Put some paint on it today, or last night. It's actually a turquoise color. For some reason it shows a blue. It's almost the same color as the plug wire, and I don't know why the plug wire show up green. Got the motor all wired up coil on it and on it yeah. ended up taking a padded part of the roof off and just molding the center scoop into the roof and the hood finished out the molding, side moldings in chrome I still got to put the grill on it when I find it. It's somewhere along the line it got lost. I got to finish up the front of it entirely. Got to get the radiator in it yet. Still got to put a dry shaft under it. Just got done putting painting the exhaust on it. I got to, the other part's still drying, but I got to tear it apart because I got to put the interior in it yet. Got to do the tail lights and rear bumper. I wish this camera showed the right color. This is that tester's turquoise. Even the can shows up wrong colored. This is tester's turquoise. Stream like for some reason it shows up blue. Where we're at with that one. See it doesn't one probably just gonna do the interior black and white. Maybe even just spray it turquoise and add some accents. Now this one here is for Lincoln Mike. This is my Dodge Monaco police car. Pro Street. Uh, it still needs some love yet, but been playing around with it a little bit since I got it off the shelf. Got the big plug wires on it. Went ahead and painted the turn signals in because I didn't have them painted. Knocked the push bar off it like three times. Painted the the lower high beam lights there. One red and one blue, opposite of what the light bar is on the top. Uh, the, the logoing on the side is from Gotham City Police Department. It's the only one I had at the time. That wasn't a Hazard County one. Uh, the rear lights in the back are actually the same way. Red one on the driver's side and blue one on the passenger opposite the light bar again. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but it is Pro Street. Uh, I'm still working at putting headers on it because I never did back then. I didn't have any at the time. I think I've got a set now that'll fit under it. So let's, well, let's call it 99% done. And this is actually built after one I seen in Hot Rod Show World magazine from 1976. Um, this is the actual car I based it on. Oop, I lost it. I can get it back real quick. Yep. This is the car I kind of based it on when I built it. Didn't have all the proper decaling or lights at the time. Uh, pretty cool old magazine. Always wanted to build that boat too. 
I'm just going to kind of briefly look through the magazine just a little bit. I'm not going to get into it too deep. And it's not going to focus on it, is it? No, it is not. Oh, there we go. This is the MPC National 7475 model contest. One of the prizes that were awarded was a motorcycle. Some of the builders. Bruce Owens. It's a pretty cool car. Steve Keith Vega. Bruce Owens, national champion there in the middle. Wausau, Michigan. Mike Grisby. Clinton, Texas, second prize. Frank Sprites. Illinois in third. Pretty cool models. Uh, I mean, you figure this is a pretty big book. Back in the day, these were to run a two page ad for what was coming out that year. It had to be really cool. A lot of money, too, probably. Uh, one of my other builds from back in the days in here, too. Oh, no, oh, this ain't the one that I did. This one's kind of on here. I'd like to show this one. This is something I'd love to do someday. This one's more for Sean. There's your Maverick idea. If you guys would like to see more of these magazines, just let me know. They're kind of big. It'd take a while to film one of them. Uh, pretty cool. There's a lot of pictures in them. Everything is it's cover to cover. Not a lot of articles. A lot of pictures. You know. but that'll be another show. This was just going to be a quick update anyway. So I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Uh, old and new. Anybody watching this that kind of digs the stuff I'm doing. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Helps me out a little bit, getting a little bit more going. Eventually, let me pass the 15 minute mark if I get to the right thing. So, uh, Rantero should be done pretty quick. It's just a kind of fighting me a little bit. I've got another project coming right after that that's kind of in that vein. But it's going to be a resin bodied 58 Etzel wagon. Finally got a parts car for it. So that should be coming up pretty quick. Uh, some of the good channels out there is. You got Mars over there doing a good job. Mars Garage. And you got. Time Machine Scale Models doing a good one. If you ain't seen either one of them, you need to check out their sites. Uh, RPM Games Ryan. His stuff's really cool. Uh, might have something coming up. A group build or a buddy build with him coming up pretty quick. I think that might be pretty fun to do. So. Alright guys, you have a good one. I'm coming up on 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off before my phone says no. 
All right. Bye-bye.